Hey everyone, in this video we'll show you how to get started with the Omega 2 Pro. First, we'll plug it in and turn it on, and then use the browser-based setup wizard to connect to Wi-Fi and update the software. Let's dive in. After you've unboxed your Omega 2 Pro, the first thing you'll want to do is provide power with a micro USB cable. This can be plugged into a computer or a wall charger. Turn the device on by flicking the power switch downwards. You'll notice on the top right, the amber LED will start to blink when the Omega is booting. That's this LED right here. When it goes solid, you'll know your Omega 2 Pro has successfully booted. Let's turn our attention to the sticker on the Omega 2S Plus module, specifically the MAC address that's printed under the barcode. The last four digits are important as they make up the Omega's name. On this device, it's 66FF, so its name is Omega-66FF. The Omega hosts its own Wi-Fi network access point, and we'll need to connect to it with a computer to get to the setup wizard. The Wi-Fi network will be named the same as the Omega, so in this case, we'll want to join Omega-66FF. Note that the last four digits will be different on your device. We'll want to punch in the Wi-Fi password, which is 12345678, and join the network. When you're connected to the network, point your browser to the setup wizard. In this video, we use the Omega's name again as the URL and type in omega-66ff.local with the slash at the end. If this doesn't work for you, try pointing the browser to 192.168.3.1. You've made it to the setup wizard. The first page includes a link to our first time setup guide that you can check out if you get stuck. Hit continue and you'll be prompted for login credentials. By default, the username is root and the password is onioneer, like a mix of onion and engineer. Your Omega will then scan for surrounding Wi-Fi networks. Click the one you want to join and you'll be prompted to enter the network password. Notice how it only accepts passwords that meet the Wi-Fi password length requirement. Hit join and your Omega will attempt to connect to the network. While this is happening, the blue Wi-Fi LED on the Omega 2 Pro will start to blink. When the Omega successfully connects, the LED will turn solid and the setup wizard will let you know the connection was successful before moving on to the next step. Now that your Omega is connected to the internet, it will check for software updates. If you do end up updating, it's absolutely critical that you keep your Omega plugged in and powered on during the update process. The whole thing will last about 5 minutes. When you hit update now, the Omega will first download the updates and then start installing them. The amber system status LED on the Omega will be blinking at this point. When the update is done, your Omega will reboot and initialize the new software. You'll know everything is done when the amber LED stops blinking and remains on. And that brings us to the end of the setup wizard. From now on, when you point your browser to your Omega, you'll be taken directly to Onion OS. If you've had any trouble with this setup process, check out the links in the description below. Happy hacking!